There is a new space show at the American Museum of Natural History Rose Center for Earth and Space's Hayden Planetarium. Encounters in the Milky Way is a time-traveling journey narrated by Pedro Pascal that shows galactic migration and how cosmic movement impacts our solar system. Joining us now on the couch is astrophysicist Jackie Faraday from the Museum of Natural History. Jackie, thanks so much for joining us. I'm so happy to be here. So you are the curator of the new show. What does that mean? Well, it means that I'm the scientific storyteller of it. So I make sure that we've got the right elements in there and that the science is all very, very strongly grounded in what astrophysicists like myself know and understand about the universe. But I'm also a planetarium person, so I know a lot about walking into that space and figuring out how to like tell a story really well with data. So I did kind of like a little bit of a dual role within this, this project. Got it, got it. Taking very complex things and making us be able to understand them, but also keeping it true to science. Yeah, and making it so that it's science, you it's not in your textbooks yet. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oof. Well, on the heels of that, I have a two-parter <laughs> question for you. Go for it. So when fine-tuning a scene featuring what's known as an Oort cloud, you and your team made a discovery. What was it? And then, of course, before explaining that, what is an Oort cloud? Yeah, so to start with, we live in a solar system, so everybody should know we live on Earth, planet Earth, here. We're on this rock, <laughs> and it was was formed around our sun and then there was all this leftover material from when the solar system formed it's like rocks little comets and they're all around you spreading out a light year in radius around you but they're too faint we don't see them but we simulate that we call that area the Oort cloud it's the leftover debris and we simulated it with a guy named David Nisvorny he's the best of the best Southwest Research Institute he gave us the simulation we were playing with it for this amazing scene in the show and as we were playing with it we saw something in the data that that he hadn't even seen because he hadn't actually plotted it the way we were looking at it and it's a spiral structure to a simulation of what we think the Oort cloud looks like. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah, and it's explained because of the solar system's orientation relative to the galaxy. Something called the galactic tide plucks away at all the comets and creates this gorgeous shape and you can see it if you come if you come watch the show you look for it and it'll 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 pop to your eyes that's worthwhile enough just to be able to see that that's really cool yeah i feel like if you weren't explaining this to us right now and someone else was we probably would not understand what an orc cloud is but i feel like now we got it yeah got it oh i got it i got it <laughs> as long as you've got so uh pedro pascal mm. very very popular in the sci-fi world right now what led you to want to use him to voice this movie I mean, we all were kind of asked, who's your dream narrator? <laughs> and I was like, uh, Pedro Pascal, 100%. So for me, it was because he's um, Chilean. Mm. And I'm an astronomer. The world's best telescopes are in Chile. And I just thought this is like, um, it's like a tribute to astronomy as well, to have somebody that's Chilean narrating it for us. He's also just... Um, He's very uh, handsome. And <laughs> Pedro Pascal. Yeah. But he's, he's, he was just such a nice guy, and he has a great voice. If you come and you listen, you'll just hear him kind of soothing you into this story oh, yeah. about the Milky Way. <laughs> Switching gears a bit. Tonight, weather permitting, is the final chance to catch Manhattan Henge this year. Yeah. So what causes it to happen and why is it only a few times a year? Have you guys seen Manhattan? Yes, it's amazing. Well, on 57th yet. Street, where we yeah, are blessed right to be able to just see it. Only on social media for me. Oh, uh, well, a lot of people see it on social media. So Manhattan Hinge is the name we give for the days of the year when the sun sets perfectly aligned with the grid of Manhattan. So at the moment that the sun is going to go below the horizon, it kisses the grid of Manhattan. So it's perfectly framed by the buildings, and it lights up the city like a canyon in all those gorgeous sunset colors. And so it happens twice on either side of the summer solstice. The first set of dates is in May, mm -hmm. May 28th, May 29th, and the second set is now, July 11th, whatever today's date is, because now I've <laughs> 12th, yeah. I think, it's it's July 12th. Yeah, moving into the 12th and 13th <laughs> next week, yeah. Sure, okay. Uh, but this is, so I'm actually the calculator of Manhattan Henge. I'm the one that makes sure that the calculation is correct. Yeah, I get it right, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so the exact moment that the sun is going to touch the grid and that everybody will cheer in the streets. Oh, yeah. It's gorgeous. Weather has to be good. I can't control that, so mm -hmm. can't be blamed for it. Last night, we had a huge celebration at the American Museum of Natural History for it. We 
shut the street down and it was a little cloudy but that sun came down and burned off those last cloud layers at the last second and it just shined so brightly like a star it it's so like beautiful star. we've got time for one more question here very important for, for everybody at home the best place in your opinion to catch Manhattan Hinge oof I always tell my secrets and then and then everybody goes <laughs> you regret it and then it's crowded <laughs> yeah. I understand I mean the, the the Mecca the Mecca 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 is 42nd Street at Tudor City okay. oh. because you're safe you're above you're above on the, the street yeah mm -hmm. you're on the bridge because otherwise you have to be in the middle of the street 42nd Street near Grand Central I'm not I'm not gonna go on record record but I'm on whatever this is so, TV, you know what I'm I mean <laughs> people <laughs> tend to take down the street the cops are gonna hate me for saying it but it does happen uh, you can't you can't stop astronomy mm -hmm. the Sun's gonna set and then people go wild 42nd Street is is the place, place. to it. be noted yeah. you heard it here first <laughs> all right Jackie thank you so much for joining us and remember Manhattan Henge happens tonight for the last time this year and encounters in the Milky Way is playing now with the Rose Center for Earth and Space. Hayden Planetarium. We'll be right back.